Okay, so I'm here with Brian, the chef. Say hi, Brian. Hey. So uh, we are cooking um, some Beyond Meat burgers that you may have seen on TV. They are, um, you know, not actual meat. It's uh, artificial meat. So we're cooking them up right now with some regular hamburger. That's uh, 85.15 hamburger. Um, and this is what it looks like. So let's see. I don't know which one's which. Uh, I'm gonna guess the one on the left is the, the artificial burger. You should know when we tell you. So we don't know. I'm going with the one on the left. I think I'm right. I am right. And the ones on the right are the regular beef. Uh, but the question is, do these taste like beef? So, um, I think it's not moving as much uh, of... No, Brian, say hi. Hello. So, I think what it's going to be, honestly, is texture more than it is flavor. Well, they said they got the texture down, so I'm not really sure. Yeah. Um, I guess we're going to find out. Uh, we're going to see what they are like momentarily. Okay, so Brian says that they smell a lot like dog food. Uh, he's a chef, like a good one, but I don't know, he cooks a lot of dog food, I guess. I've made dog food. Um, he's made dog food. Can you tell us why, Brian? He cooked for Liza Minnelli. He cooked for Liza Minnelli. I didn't know. That. Apparently, Liza Minnelli ate dog food. No, her dog. That's why she's dead now, right? She dead? No. Oh, she's alive. Sorry, Liza, if you see this. Uh, <laughs> but uh, her dog had very... Um, had to have kind of specified of nutritional requirements. Um, mm -hmm. So I think it's safe to say that the um, the real beef ones are shrinking up, and the fake beef ones are are probably keeping their form a little better. Um, that's what we think anyway. That's what I think. Um, it's hard to see it. What the difference really is, but I'm gonna go with the little turds on the left, the right are, are real, and the ones on the left are fake. That's what I think. Okay, so I think part of the reason why the um, the which I believe are the real ones over here are holding their shape versus or not holding their shape, but shrinking up, versus the other ones that are that are um, keeping their shape. They've gone out of their way to make sure that these look like burgers because they're getting Burger King contracts trying to get everybody else right. So, it's not a bad thing. Um, you know, you want your burgers to all look the same. But, um, it is weird that they're perfectly shaped. Like, it's like getting Chicken McNuggets or something. Or Chicken Nuggets. Oh, not mixed. Don't sue me, McDonald's. Uh, chicken Nuggets that are all shaped the same, you know. I can't see you. So. I have 250 shares of this stock. I'm a shareholder. Yes, I am now a shareholder um, as of, well, today's 4th of July, so um, Independence Day, rather. And so uh, it didn't go through, but tomorrow, I guess I'll be a shareholder because I bought $5 worth of share. Brian, you have some? 250 shares. Of Beyond Me? No. Oh, of what? Of McDonald's. Oh, McDonald's. So he's well, McDonald's. So in all openness, um, we do own parts of these companies, potentially. Not very much, but... Um, I don't own any of Burger King. Brian doesn't as well. So, Burger King, here's here's free advertisement for you. Um, I may buy Burger King shares. If this tastes that good, I plan on going forward, buying some other stuff. Um, in more than five dollars, I just tried a new app. Ready? But, uh, dramatic we'll see. effect. Dramatic effect. Steam. This doesn't show up. Brian, he's vaping on camera, but in the kitchen. Holy didn't show shit. up. Okay, so here we go. He's taking him off the oven, oven, the skillet there, and we're about to find out um, how they taste. Uh, so he hasn't told me which is which, but I think it's pretty obvious which is which. Did you add anything else to these? I had exactly the same seasoning. So you put a little bit of uh, a little dobo and little, little dobo, black pepper, and that was it. And some black pepper and some Irish American love. And, uh, so here we go. Here we go. I'm going to take, which I think is the real piece that was the same size as the other when we first started. So, See so the here's, difference. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to take half a bite of that. Okay, I'm going to take half, half a bite, bite of this, and then half a bite of that, okay. and half a bite of this. 
I don't want to see it because when I just looked at it, I could tell which was it. So, half a bite. Tastes like some steak or some steak, some um, meat I got from Kroger. Um, I'm going to take this other one, the Beyond Meat, I think. Yeah, you can't show me because it's pretty obvious which is which to me. Um, I got you. It tastes completely different. Not bad. Not bad. Um, not it's not as fatty greasy. You want to watch both of us eat it? Yeah. All of us eat it? Pleasure yeah. ice. But, um, so we got some more. Right. Taste test. Taste test one. You're on camera. Mm. Real effect. Mm. Fake. Better than okay. a veggie burger, though. Ready? Okay, first, next one. But you thought the first one was fake. Mm -hmm. Which was real. Mm. But the second one. It was definitely. It was the texture. Yeah. Texture mm -hmm. and the grease is a little different. So it's pretty good, though. But it does have a crunch on it, though. It does. Yeah. Right. They said it does caramelize like that, but and yeah. that's just Are raw. That's not even in a burger. So next up is we're gonna do a burger. Oh. Uh, so Melanie's gonna try. Uh, and she's she's liable to puke. So this could be a great. This could be great because she might. But you know which one. I know which one's which. Ready? Close your eyes. Open your mouth. She's heard that before. This is not PG. Thank you. I mean, it tastes like beef to me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that one tastes Ready? like beef. Next one. Close your eyes. And open up that beautiful mouth. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I thought it was G rated. Okay, so that's the fake one. Correct. Well, what Just do you the think? Texture. What do you think? Though? It's not bad, right? I would think it was a hamburger. It's probably. not bad. Yeah. I mean, you know, what if you're trying like? to be healthy. Yep. That's without a bun, it that's without mustard like or mayonnaise or whatever you put on your burger, without pickles and onions the and, a different, and but the thousand hours of recipes. Yeah, the taste so that's next. Well, all the worried. stuff on it. Yeah, the, the so, this is before I eat the whole one. This is what it looks like. This It's got some crunch, it's got some grease on it. See the grease on my finger? It's, it's, it's sort of like watery grease, but it's grease. It's got some body to it, not this quite the same texture. Body. But um, mm -hmm. we'll see what the whole burger tastes like when I got all the stuff on it. One final note. It, it does look pink like a real burger. But it's just kind of mushy. So, I don't know. <laughs>